How do I make money with cryptocurrency? Because I can pull money out of my pocket and look at it. How do I make money using cryptocurrency? Right. So, great question. So, you know, Coinbase is how you get started. When you put your money into Coinbase, you can actually buy, you know, there's there's a, a, at least about five different major cryptocurrencies that you can just buy right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Um, let's see, you got Stellar, which is XLM. And there's a couple of other ones out there. But <clears throat> the, the main thing to actually make, start making money off of it is to wait on the on the actual market to, to drop. You don't want to you don't want to get into the hype when when Bitcoin has jumped up 15 percent. That's good information. Right. right. Here, man. <clears throat> wait until it goes down, you know, 5, 10, 15 percent. Wait until it goes down. Now, let's say, for instance, that hundred dollars that you use, don't use all of it. Use fifty dollars of it when it goes down, and as soon as you get into it, wait until it goes up. You sell it. Mm -hmm. You know you may not make a lot of money off of it. You may make three dollars, mm -hmm. but three dollars profit is three dollar profit. Mm -hmm. So, and you just wait until it goes down again. Now you got a hundred and three dollars to use instead of that hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Buy right back into it and just keep, repeat that process. Mm -hmm. And you always got to be patient. You know, don't you don't rush it. The biggest and hardest thing to uh, to do is get your emotions out of it, because mm -hmm. you'll see the market moving a lot, and it's you want to get in. Yeah, it's very that's, that's the stock market, right? Yeah, yep, stock market exactly. terminology. Volatility. Exactly. Vol volatility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the biggest that <clears throat> that's the biggest difference between cryptocurrency and the stock market. How volatile uh, Bitcoin is. Mm, that's so why people can make so much money so wow. fast off of it so cryptocurrency is much more volatile than the stock market indeed wow, yeah okay. Okay. so you know i'll give you a good example um let's say I'm trying to think of um there is a there's a stock that i actually follow right now it's called eros that's the that's the stock symbol for it mm -hmm. you know it's a three dollar and twenty cent stock you know it's considered mm -hmm. a penny stock when that moves you know ten percent ten percent for that would be considered a thirty cent move. 30 cent move yeah. yeah, thirty cent move. So it'll go from three dollars and twenty cents to three dollars and fifty cent. Mm -hmm. So compare that to Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now is I think it's around ninety five hundred dollars. A ten percent move for Bitcoin is like almost what, almost five hundred dollars? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So that's how much it moves. Now, even though it's even though Bitcoin is ninety five hundred dollars, you don't need ninety five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You can still use that hundred dollars. It's called buying fractional shares. Fractional shares. Yeah, okay. buying fractional shares. So, and then you can constantly make micro trades with those fractional shares, mm -hmm. you know, to build your portfolio up. So, and this is the same thing mm -hmm. that we do in the hood every day, man. We we playing with micro shares every yep. day. Yep. We just may as well do it somewhere where it's legit, mm -hmm. and you can actually set up a future, a secure financial future for yourself and your family. Exactly. Um, another thing, you know, I would I would ask because you got introduced to the information, right? Right. You actually got to realize it and actualize it and see how it could benefit your life and your family. Indeed. So the, the the question I would like to ask is why do you think so many of us are not privy to this information? And why do you think that you were blessed enough to have it introduced to you? Yeah, that's a good question. So I think the one of the main answers to that is a lot of people don't even know what Bitcoin is. They don't Very have a true. Clue. Very true. You know, and for some that do know what it is you know, they don't even know how to get started. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's another one. Uh, I would say a third one is, you know, those that probably do know a little bit on what's going on, mm -hmm. they probably think it's not real. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because they can't see it, they can't touch it, they just think it's not real. Absolutely. You know, and my answer to that is, if you have direct deposit, honestly, the money that goes into your direct deposit is digital mm -hmm. you know it's not technically real <laughs> it's digital money yeah. it's digital yeah. money yeah. and the banks are constantly take using your money while it's sitting in your account right now to so that they can make money off mm -hmm. of it you know that that's a whole nother that's a conversation yeah, yeah. yeah and i'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that right now mm -hmm. but you know if you look at it that way and you you visualize you know how how can this fake money actually you know do something for me mm -hmm. that's when you start you know getting intrigued and getting that more research you mm -hmm. know on how to how to get involved so and we have to we, mm -hmm. we have to be mindful now we are we are understand you know the situation that our people may have been in being in the country you know we know that we've been cut off from economic opportunities 
But what you have to realize is these opportunities are being presented to you every day through programs like this, conversations like this. It's important that you take note when you hear certain <clears throat> terms and when you hear certain words and certain language that you're not familiar with. Right. Take note. And then just type it in Google. Google is the ultimate consciousness of mankind collectively. You know, yep. do sl do light research, like you said. Yeah. This is if you go to his channel, you'll see how he's breaking it all down for you step yeah. by step. That's how he started. Yep. Taking notes. I learned a lot from Google. A lot from Google. <laughs> as soon as I heard something new, I Google it, and then once I'm reading the description of what's going on with that, and mm -hmm. then there's other terminology mm -hmm. in that description that I don't understand, I Google that, mm -hmm. and I just keep digging down and down and down until I finally figure it out until it makes sense to me. Once mm -hmm. it makes sense to me, mm -hmm. then I start applying it to, to my strategy that I use. Absolutely. We are in a beautiful time. We are in a beautiful time in the world and technology. We're in the age of Aquarius, you know, where information is vast and it's being spread everywhere. Um, we have to know that the wealthy, the one percent, they know this information. Right. They know this information. They they do the research. Mm -hmm. They learn these things and they know how to operate and function effectively within the paradigm. You may not have created your circumstance, but it's your responsibility to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is we have to do our research. All right, hey man, we support Bitcoin brand. This is my 2017 Holding Commodore. I'm about to teach y'all how to get some money off of Bitcoin.